attaching the starboard deep tuttle to top plate mount adapter. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm curious how complex is it to do the first install and also is it going to be super fast to switch over because I fully plan to use my starboard foil with my foil board and hopefully with the right conditions I will be able to switch over quickly to my wing foil board. I got the starboard 5.8 wing foil board should be showing up even today maybe tomorrow. So yeah let's get to it. <laughs> Top deck pad. Okay, so this is the extra spare parts just in case. And it looks like I have everything in here. All right, so these two bolt holes don't line up with these. So I'd have to drill holes through this. I can definitely feel some give, a little bit give here. So it makes sense that there's a way to kind of bolt this in to lock it in. And these just go on the top. So let's see if I can put this down. Try a rubber mallet. Let's see how this works. Okay, that's it tight. This looks like it's being able to tighten down a little bit more on the back. Okay. So I'm not sure. This looks really solid, but I'm not sure if these two pieces are a suggestion or if I really should drill some holes here so these can go in and, and f further button up. Maybe it'll wear out after time without these. Yeah, let me see if I can find some information on that. I can see the top of the carbon's fully set to aluminum, but there is a gap here, so I'm going to try again. Cool. To remove, I'm just going to try to use the the mallet. There we go. Okay. So not too bad, but a little bit of an effort there. Okay, so I sprayed on some sail coat on the inside and on here. Let's see if that helps a little bit. I'm also gonna try to line it up a little bit better because it was fully set, but once it was in, it was hard to move back and forth. Yeah, way easier. That's not right. A technique that works well is I can move it back and forth here. Let's see if this works. So I can kind of just go down a little bit and it looks like it's too far over this way. And this seems to be working much better. And the sail coat helped a lot to, there we go. Okay, that looks good. The top, the carbon is tight with the aluminum and it's easy to adjust the angle of this by, let's see, if I go up here like this and forward and pick down here, I can get more flat of a stance. Where if I hit here and hit down here, I can angle it up a little bit. So I think that's pretty easy to adjust the angle once I start bolting it down and getting it tight. And also with these, it'll help it keep tight. The more I was thinking about the top, with just my fingers, I'm able to squeeze in the middle of it a little bit, wear out, and less of these are here. So I think that it's really important to just bolt it here. Plus, this, this is really thin and light, 
So I think what Starboard found is, hey, if we just add two bolts here to cinch it up, this can be a lot lighter and more hydrodynamically efficient piece because this is going to be all in the water, but this is not that big of a deal. It's not that big or chunky. These pieces are a little smaller than here. Um, you can see that they're not quite, there's a little bit of play. So I'm going to make sure I drill a hole that fills this whole spot so I can adjust this a little bit because with that I can adjust the angle and stitch it down, then it will lock in tight, but there'll be a little bit of wiggle room in here. Where these hook up is the end of the aluminum out mount, not the actual hole. So if the hole's a little bit too big, that'll be good because I can play around. I could find if I really want some lightweight to flight performance, I can move the mass forward a little bit, angle it a little bit, a little bit forward, and that will give me a little bit easier to flight. And if I move this back down so the mass is angled back a little bit, it'll be more forgiving on the touchdowns. But this looks a little bit, this looks about perfect. Just a slight angle back, not quite flat, and that'll give me a little bit easier touchdowns and a little bit overall good flight. Just mark these. Hoping these marks will still be here when I take out the piece. Cool. So I'm going to start with a small drill bit, go up to 3 8 and I got the point here. And just to make sure the hole's straight, I'm going to drill from both ends rather than all the way through. Got some 180 grit here to sand the edges smooth. Cool. That'll look good. Nice and smooth. Yeah. Got it banged back down in the right placing. This one is totally tight. This one, because it's against the carbon, this one's a, a, almost tight, but these are lining up nicely. So let's put these in here. And then I can torque these down a little bit more afterwards. Let's see if I need two tools. Oh, that's cool. So I don't need two tools. That locks in nicely. That's always a, a bonus. I'm going to have to fumble for an extra tool. Awesome. I'm going to torque this down just a little bit more. And that's in. I feel like this is now a good solid piece. It's worth doing the extra effort to lock these in. And uh, also, I think. I can adjust the angle and then tighten these afterwards, or tighten all these afterwards. Now I have a, a strong piece, locked here, locked here. Definitely use denatured alcohol on this top plate before I apply the adhesive backing. <laughs> okay, lined it up. And there's two different sections, so I'm going to take the smaller section off first. To line it up. Stick it 
here. Okay. Before I press, make sure everything's lined up. That looks good. Okay, so I can press here. And then I can remove the secondary adhesion sticker. So I feel good about this. Uh, I wasn't expecting to drill into my carbon fiber mast, but I do understand on how linking, locking it up and just gripping it from this angle and this angle will make it stronger. I really appreciate how this piece is not very heavy or big. The drag from this is not going to be that big when I'm slogging. As soon as I get flying, then this won't be a big deal. The mast 95 mark point is right about here, so a little bit below this point, so probably in comparison the new mast is considered a 102 centimeters, so over a meter long mast now. Yeah! It's not going to be the best for light wind or for learning necessarily, because I'm going to have some pretty high foil outs, but this is going to be so awesome for chop. I should foil out very little, so if I want to go do some chop blasting, just fly through the chop rather than use the wave energy. This is going to be awesome for those nasty choppy wind days. It won't fit in the bag. I'm going to see if I can cut out a space for it. Maybe time for a new bag, but I'm getting it to fit. <laughs> there we go. Still put this piece on here. Probably don't want to shake it around too much, but that definitely is easy to take around. So I don't think it'd be a big deal when I switch from wind foiling with this setup to wing foiling with the top plate mount. It's just two screws here, two screws here. I will bring this so my rubber mount will join me in the vehicle because this is a lot easier to balance it and bang it down to the right spot and it should be an extra piece. So I'll attach these when I get the board. It looks like there's a different end. This has a reinforced side, this doesn't, so I assume that's if you have to go further to the edge of the plate track, maybe you can get a little further. So I think these go in like this to where you can go further back. But I'll play around that. I'm sure it'll be really easy to do. Um, but yeah, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll try to make more. Cool, thanks. Have a good one. Bye.